hello guys welcome back in this quick php video tutorial we are going to learn how to use the model how to connect to the database and pass the data from controller to view so uh, it should be the dynamic data also so let's uh, start with all these things with a very simple example so first of all uh, you can see that i have a page controller and here is the function view so according to this i have to make the uh, view or template file so first of all i'm going to just uh, the template folder and page uh, folder here because this is a page controller and I'm going to make a new file with the view.ctp alright so this is according to the structure of uh, uh, cake so view page so I just want to show here and this is my route file so here I just put on put it on the uh, default route my controller name is based my action name is view so let's see my application name is this one so here you can see that view page this data is coming from here so guys if you uh, are not familiar with this structure so you can watch my just previous video here I just explore it how we can uh, how I have to make the view file and controller and routes I just explain it uh, in the in in the details so let's get started so first of all to connect to the ORM uh, to the module I I have to create a table and the file name so uh, this is the model folder I have to go in the uh, just close all the folders here so that uh, we are not have to confuse so this is the model folder and here you can see that inside this have a table folder there is a nothing for now so I'm going to create a user dot uh, it should be the uh, user table with the capital T dot PHP alright so this is also ready so first of all these things I have to go to the app dot PHP file and here you can see here you can see that the data source in the data source you have to set the uh, your uh, database settings and configuration so there you have to use the host name which is a local host username is the root password name in your case it could be blank or anything else this is the admin and my database name is laravel so let's open it local host just use the PHP my admin so just write the data password here so I'm going to open it's the Laravel here you can see that I have a test table so let's we have to fetch all this data so how we can do that so our uh, settings already done from this file this is the app.php file is placed in the config and you have to set the data source here so after this your uh, database configuration is done now you have to come with the model and you can see that's the user dot table so here you have to use some um, we have to import some namespace and all so you use the namespace app it should be the capital model and then you have to use we have to use the table all right oops okay this should be in the php tag that's my bad all right and after that i have to use cake and o r m and table oops alright all right. so now just create a class here what's going wrong here is no alright everything is fine so we just create class with the same as the your file name which is the user table extends table all right and just oops 
and just write that so your it what it will going to do uh, the use the class user table will fetch the user database table from here so the naming convention will understand automatically in the cake that that means this is a kind of table and the table name is that one all right so now I have to import it in my page controller so for that I have to use dollar result whatever you want to place dollar this load model and model name my model name is user all right so now just uh, fetch the data here from from what result and what we want to fetch we want to fetch all oops sorry it should be find so we want to select all so we can use the this one so now uh, we can use the for each loop I think okay so just try here for each dollar data as dollar row and echo dollar row and let's try to print it okay so you can see that we got the data here with the JSON format because uh, cake PHP will return the JSON data in this format so let if you want to just uh, okay so we will do it in the next screen so here I have to use dollar uh, this underscore set I'm going to pass this data to the view and here my variable name like uh, view data whatever you want to put comma dollar data all right so now just go to the view file here just type the php tag mm -hmm. okay so what we fetch from the last screen we just pass the view data so just come here with the view data and pass now it should be uh, come to the below to the view page it's not a view page actually now it's like a view page okay so now let's you want to see only the name here so just write dollar name awesome but oh what the hell is that you are not able to read okay that's fine just use the br tag PR tag is awesome with the echo so you can see that we got the old result here we have one result is blank that's why we are able to see blank so that's a very easy way so let's revise what we done in this video so we have a page controller we create a view function here after the view function we have to create a view file so for that we have to go to the template and here is the page pages folder name and just create the view.ctp and the this file be belongs to the functions and pages belong to the controller prefix to the controller all right so after that we have to create a mod model for the that we have to go to the model folder inside the table folder we have to use this one and all right after that in the page controller just load the module find like work the select query and pass the data to the view and now in the view table view screen I mean view file we will uh, fetch the data in the dollar view data variable so here is that and we just uh, for each for each or iterate this uh, array and you are able to see this one so thanks guys thanks for watching this video and if you have still any kind of confusion within this video you can put me in the comment box 
and don't forget to subscribe our channel and you can catch me on the facebook also that given the link is given in the description box thanks guys thanks for watching this